it's time for the morning headlines on this Friday, January 15th. And as well, gosh, I think it's the first time I've been here on a Friday since November. But on Fridays, we only do good news stories. And we start with the good news that your chances of buying a fake Gucci, Louis Vuitton and Chanel are going down. U.S. Customs Authorities, good work. They seized 170 handbags and wallets that were headed to a home in St. Paul this week. They came from Laos. A Pioneer Press reporting that if they were sold at the price of an authentic Gucci or Chanel, the whole thing would be worth about four dollars to $5,000. Inconsistencies and poor qualities led the port director of the local office and the team to identify the fake stuff. They've been working hard to seize fake smartphones, cosmetics, electronics, and luxury items. Your gas bill isn't going to go up as much as Centerpoint Energy wanted it to. Star Tribune reporting that you're going to get some money back, too. Regulators did allow for a 5.1% increase in gas rates, so, I mean, it's not exactly terrific news, but it's better than the 8.7% average household increase Centerpoint was asking for. This kind of works in a weird way. The gas company first asked for a price hike in October of 2019. They were allowed to put it into effect in January of last year, so you've been paying that increase for the last 13 months now. You'll see a refund on your bill in the coming months. You know that I love gadgets. I'm always interested in the latest developments at the Consumer Electronics Show and USA Today tech reporter Mark Saltzman has a list of a few gadgets from CES that he said that he would spend his own money for. So this is cool. Samsung's Bot Handy. It's a robot that loads the dishwasher, picks up clothes from the floor. I think my wife would like a robot to pick up my clothes from the floor of our bedroom. There's a toothbrush that autom from uh, Philips Sonicare that automatically adapts to your brushing, which is kind of cool. And uh, I love this translucent TC, uh, TV, the LG Smart Bed TV. So in your bedroom, if you don't want a TV, you can have this translucent thing kind of rise up from the foot of your bed. You could watch the news. Just think of that. Think of watching Riley and me on that TV. All right, this is a big debate at my house because my 13-year-old son thinks it's absolutely ridiculous that somebody would spend money on, like, a Porsche SUV. He's like, if you want a Porsche, get a sports car. Why would you have a dumb SUV? Of course, SUVs are the best sellers, and they make a lot of money for the luxury cars. So New York Times writing about Ferrari, a Ferrari SUV coming in 2022. Most of us have never driven a Ferrari. I've never. Oh, I would love to look at. Look how sexy that car is. Do we need us? Do we need an SUV of a Ferrari? A regular Ferrari, the cheapest one, starts at two hundred twenty-two thousand uh, dollars. I don't know what the SUV would cost, Riley. Three hundred, four hundred thousand well, bucks. Well, I probably don't have to worry about it because I'll never get one. Me neither. Have you ever driven in a <laughs> Ferrari no, I, though? I'm not winning the lottery yet. So Why not? Uh, hey, tonight, tomorrow, you got well, a chance. Well, maybe if I show up with a Ferrari. Well, tomorrow Saturday I won't be here, but maybe Monday if I show up, then you'll know. If I see a Ferrari out in the parking ramp, <laughs> I know you hit the jackpot. <laughs>